Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Purposely Design. This is Angela and I'm back. Um, I wanted to talk with you over something that the Lord given me um, April 25th at 3 in the morning. Um, I was, I had watched this mantle conference and man, I as I was listening um, there was a singer and he was talking about um, how he, I guess he had a new song and he talked about how, you know, he put his name on it and then God put his name on him. And man, that thing just kind of like resonated in my spirit. And it kind of got deep for me, you know what I'm saying? Just to hear, um, he put, it was something that he was working on. And he put God's name on what he was working on. And God put his name on him. Basically is what he was saying. And I was like, wow, you know, it just really did something in my spirit it stirred me up like it really had me going and I was just like wow you know um it's something about that so I kind of want to talk about I kind of want to talk about that um today so Lord God we thank you for today we thank you Lord God for your word we thank you Lord God for all that you're doing in this hour, in this season, in this time, Lord God, we thank you. We just give you honor. We give you praise. We thank you, Lord God, for just bringing us into submission with your will, with your word, Father. We thank you for that, Lord. We thank you just for all that you are, all that you're doing, and all that you've already done. Lord, we just give you praise. We give you honor. And, Father, we give you glory today. Now, Lord God, I ask that you would just allow this word to just penetrate in each and every heart. Lord God, open up the hearts in order for them to be receptive to your will, to your way, and to your word in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Open up every ear to hear and every eye to see in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah. Let your words flow in the Yashandarie. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your word flow through the diazón de la diente. In the mighty name of Jesus, flow through this broadcast. Hope the diazón de la diente. In the mighty name of Jesus, open up the ears, O oh God, to hear. Every eye to see it, every heart to be the diazía. Even the diazón In the mighty name of Jesus, open up the heart. To be receptive to your will, to your word, and to your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, or even to your rhythm, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, your rhythm, O God, penetrate every heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, hope that you are that I say. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, and we'll forever give you praise, honor, and glory for all honor, all glory, all belongs to you. God, we just thank you on today. We thank you for this week. We thank you for the weekend, Lord God. We thank you that we are still here. And I'm still here proclaiming your word, proclaiming the gospel, Lord God of Jesus Christ. Lord, we just thank you. For everything that you've done, we thank you, Father, for that action. That action, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for direction, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for leading us and guiding us into all truth, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. I just give you honor, praise, and glory for it. In Jesus' name. Thank God and amen. Amen and amen. Oh man, I just thank him today. I thank him for what he's done already. 
and I thank him for what he's doing and what he's going to do. I thank him for what he did for us, even already on that cross, Father. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Thank you for forgiveness of sins. Thank you for just looking over, um, just covering us with your blood and not uh, not seeing um, us, but seeing your son in us. God, we thank you today. We just give you praise, honor, and glory for it. Thank you for working out each and every situation. Thank you, Lord God, for everything that you're doing in this hour. God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing, what you're going to do, and what you've already done. Father, we give you praise today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your word, God. Even on Sunday, Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you, Lord God, that your word just continues to work. That it continues, Lord God, to just flow, to move in every heart and every mind. God, we just thank you today. I just thank God. I don't know why. I just want to just give him praise today. You know, could have been gone, could have been dead. But thank you, Lord God, that I'm here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for all that are listening, that they are still here. Father, we thank you today. Hallelujah. Thank you for our limbs, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, that you that we're able to walk and talk and breathe oh god we thank you lord god for every activity everything everyone that's that don't have uh the uh the activity of all their limbs whatever that you've given us lord god we just thank you every voice that has been spoken lord god we thank you that we are able to speak god thank you lord god that we have ears to hear Thank you, Lord God, that we have eyes to see, Lord. We thank you on today. All that can't see, Lord God, we thank you, Lord, that you are a healer and that you are able, hallelujah, to cause us to be able to see. And those that are deaf, God, that you heal, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. You have the son that aliente. Oh, God, we thank you that you open the son that aliente. God, we thank you that we have ears to be able to hear and that you are able to open up every ear, God. We thank you on today. Thank you, God, for all that you've done. Hallelujah. And everything that you're doing. And everything, God, that you're going to do. Lord, I give you praise today. If you would just turn with me to Ezekiel 37 and 16 and it says moreover the word of the Lord came unto me saying son of man when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land they defiled it by their own way and by their own doings by their doings I'm sorry their way was before me as the uncleanliness of a one a removed woman wherefore I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they shed, had shed upon the land and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathens, and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings. I judged them. 20 says, And when they entered unto the heathen, whether they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, These are the people of the Lord and are gone forth out of this land, but I have pity for mine holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathens, whether 
they went. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whether ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen, and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you an heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. And ye shall keep my judgment and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. I will also save you from all your uncleanness, and I will call for the corn, and will increase it, and lay no famine upon you. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree, and the increase of the field, that ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Then shall ye remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good and shall loth yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abominations. Not for your sakes do I this, saith the Lord God, be it known unto you, be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord God, in the day that I shall have cleansed you from all your iniquities, I will also cause you to dwell in the cities, and the wastes shall be built, and the dead son and the desolate land shall be tilled, whereas it lay desolate in the sight of all that pass by. And they shall say, This land that was desolate is become like the Garden of Eden, and the waste and desolate and ruined cities are become fenced and are inhabited. Then the heathen that are left round about you shall know that I the Lord built the ruined places and plant that that was desolate. I the Lord have spoken it and I will do it. Thus saith the Lord God, I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it for them. I will increase them with men like a flock as the holy flock as the flock of Jerusalem in her solemn fest so shall the way cities be filled with flocks of men and they shall know that I am the Lord he said he was going to do it for his name Some things he does for his name's sake. 
yeah, you may have misrepresented the Lord. But because of his namesake, he still chooses to bless you. Because of his namesake, he's still going to open up the door. Because of his namesake. He's still going to do what he promised you because he's letting it be known to those that are looking and listening and watching that he is the Lord. He's going to clean you up. Why? Because of his name's sake. He's going to bring you out. Why? Because of his name's sake. He's going to get the glory because of his name's sake, because he put his name on it. Because he chose to put his name on it. Let's talk about his name. Well, if you turn with me to Exodus 23 and start with verse 20. When it came down to the children of Israel, even before, God sent an angel. And it says, Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine adversaries. For mine angel shall go before thee and bring thee into the Amorites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites and the Hivites and the Jebusites and I will cut them off. He said he put his name in this angel And all you have to do is listen. And if you listen, he was going to pardon your sins. And not only that, but he's going to go to war for you. When we read Ezekiel 37, he talked about how they had profaned his holy name. got somewhere and started misrepresenting the father and he said in 22 therefore say unto the house of Israel thus saith the Lord God I do not this for your sakes O house of Israel but for mine holy name's sake which she have profaned among the heathen, whether you went. In other words, wherever you went, you don't went amongst these heathen and you began to profane my name. So I'm going to do this thing that I said I'm going to do, but I'm doing it for my name's sake. See, it's like God had to take and turn it around. And say, okay, I'm not going to look at what you did and what you didn't do. You know, there's covenants that you were supposed to keep, but I ain't going to look at that right now. There's things that you were supposed to obey. And I And I'm not going to look at that right now. But what I'm going to look at is my name. Mm.
Then on 26, he said, a new heart also. See, he's, first of all, let's, let's go back. Mm, mm, mm. He said in 24, 23, and I will sanctify my great name. I want to sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. So you was out here profaning my name. When they see this turnaround that I'm going to do inside of you, the heathen is going to recognize that I am God. Why? Because I cleansed my name. I sanctified my name. I turned things around in your life. I turned you around. He says, 24, for I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and bring you into your own land. So I'm going to take you up out of these countries where you profane my name. And I'm going to bring you into your own land. He said, then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you he be a shun that of the hallelujah he said I'm going to cleanse you I'm going to do this thing that I'm about to do not for you but for my name mm. hallelujah Hallelujah. For my name. Mm, mm, mm. A new heart also will I give you. And a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statue. And you shall keep my judgment and do them. You're going to be able to keep my judgment now because of the spirit that I place within you. That's going to cause you to walk in my judgments. And in my statue. And cause you to do it. First of all. He had to put a new spirit. A new heart. And take away the stony heart. Out of our flesh. And give us a heart of flesh. And then he put. His spirit within us. And cause us to walk in his statutes. And allow us to keep his judgment. And do them. He says, and ye shall dwell in the land. That I gave to your fathers. And be, and ye shall be my people. And I will be your God. You know, you will not act like my people. It's like, I'm going to rededicate myself to you. I'm going I'm to I'm rededicate you unto me. You're going to be my people. Because of my name. Because I'm going to sanctify my name. In you. Mm-mm-mm. Twenty-eight said, and ye shall dwell 
in the land that I gave to your fathers. And ye shall be my people and I will be your God. I will also save you from all your uncleanliness. And I will call for the corn and will increase it. I'm going to turn around afterwards and I'm going to increase your crops. I'm going to give you an increase after I cleanse you from all your uncleanliness and lay no famine upon you. You ain't going to have to worry about starving because I'm bringing forth increase, right? He said, and I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the increase of the field that ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Now I ain't going to treat you like I was treating the heathen anymore. I'm going to bless you for my name's sake. Now when I get done, then shall ye remember your own evil ways. Look, now after I done bless you, now here it's going to dawn on you how evil you was. And your doings that were not good. And shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abominations. Not for your sakes do I this, saith the Lord. Be it known unto you. Be ashamed and confounded for your ways, O house of Israel. Like, when I get done, I want you to be ashamed of how you was acting. And how you profane my great name. Yeah, I want you to get it together. I want you to realize. Here it is. Use my people. And now you had to live like heathens. Because you was running around here. Profaning my great name. Thirty-three says, Thus saith the Lord God, In the day that I shall have cleansed you from all your iniquities, I will also cause you to dwell in the cities, and the waste shall be built. And the desolate, desolate land shall be tilted, whereas it lay desolate in the sight of all that passed by. So I'm going to rebuild those desolate places. And cause you to dwell in the cities. After I have cleansed you from all your iniquities. And they shall say, this land was desolate, is become like the Garden of Eden. And the waste and desolate and ruined cities are become fenced and are inhabited. So the places that were desolate became like the Garden of Eden. And the waste and desolate and ruined cities became and are inhabited then the heathen that are left round and about you shall know that I the Lord build the ruined places and plant that that was desolate I the Lord have spoken it and I will do it he said I said it and we already know when God says something, his word don't go back forward. But it accomplishes everything it set out to accomplish. If we go to Isaiah 55 and 11. It 
It says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. It don't go back for it. Let's go to Romans chapter 8. It's in 26. It says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself make, maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts know what is in the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose, for whom he did foreknow, he, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, that is risen again who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us, who shall separate us from the love of Christ, shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Going to Romans 9, 25. As a matter of fact, let's go to 24. Even us whom he hath called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles, as he saith also in O.C., I will call them my people which were not my people, and her beloved which were not was not beloved. And it shall come to pass. That in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall be called the children of the living God. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, Though the number of children of the children of Israel be as the sea, the sand of the sea, 
a remnant shall be saved. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness, because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. And as Isaiah said before, except the Lord of the, of Sabbath had left us a seed, we had been as Sodom and been made like unto Gomorrah. What shall we then say then? That the Gentiles, which follow not after righteousness, have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. But Israel, which follow after the law of righteousness, had not attained to the law of righteousness. Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law, for they stumbled at the stumbling stone. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense. And whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. So he did everything that he said he was going to do. He sanctified his name through Jesus Christ. And he called us to be his people. Let's go to Ephesians 4 and 4. He says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body. And one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also had also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might feel all things and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ till we all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the son of God and to a perfect man unto the measure of of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive, but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that ye walk. 
that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their minds, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their hearts, who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness, but ye have not so learned Christ. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to this, the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speaking every man's truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be angry and sin not. Let the sun go down, not, let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more. But rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to use, to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God whereby ye are sealed into the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, and anger, and clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, and be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. So, he turned for his name's sake to his son's sake. For Christ's sake, he forgave us. And he said, chapter three, chapter five of Ephesians, be therefore followers of God as dear children and walk in love as Christ also have loved us and have given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savior but fornication and uncleanness or covetedness let it not be once named among you as becometh saints neither filthiness nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather give thanks, give of thanks. For this ye know, that no whoremonger, no, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is in an idolater, hath any inheritance in the kingdom of God, of Christ, and of God. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not ye therefore partakers with them, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth proving what is acceptable unto the Lord and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light for whatsoever doth Make, it, make manifest is light. Wherefore, he saith, Awake, 
thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the I mean, yeah, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. We need an understanding of the will of the Lord. And we need to recognize that these that these times and days are evil. Speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your hearts to the Lord. I'm sorry, I skipped 18. 18 says, and be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit in these days. Speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. We ought to be singing and making melody to the in our hearts to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God, wives Submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives. Even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So he washed us and he cleansed us by the word. He did everything he said he was going to do. That he, that he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself, for no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth it nourisheth and cherisheth it even as the Lord the church for we are members of his body of his flesh and of his bones for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife and they too shall be one flesh this is a great mystery but I speak concerning Christ and the church nevertheless let Every one of you, in particular, so love his wife, even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. So, he cleansed it by the washing of the word of God. He did everything he said he was going to do. And he did it for his name's sake. He did it for Christ's sake. Right? It went from, which is still his name's sake, okay? 
Now, let's go to St. John 5 and 43. Matter of fact, let's, let's start at 41. And it says, I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that you, that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him will ye receive. How can ye believe? which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only. Do not think that I will accuse you to my father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. He said, I am come in my father's name. So yet again, he's still doing it for his name's sake. He's doing it for his name's sake. And because his word can't go back void. So, Lord God, we thank you for this word on today. We thank you, Father, for leading us and guiding us into all truth, Father. We thank you for what you've done new in us. Thank you, Father. Lord, we just give you praise. We give you honor for everything that you've done. For your name's sake. My Father, we just ask that you will help us to continue to be more and more like your son. To be more and more like you. Help us, oh God, to do your will. And to do things the way that you would have for us to do them. Help us to seek you. Like we've never sought you before. Help us to come into alignment with your will and your way and your word. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we forever give you praise, honor, and glory. We thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing and all that you're going to do. This week, this month, and this year. God, we just ask that you will help us through. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you that you're doing it for your name's sake. We thank you, Father. Everything that you're doing, you're doing it for your name's sake. God, that you will get the glory out of the situation. That you will receive the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. That they will know that you did this thing. That they will know that you have turned us around. That they will know that you have uh, caused us to gain the land that you have promised us. That they will know, Lord, that you're the one that caused the desolate cities to become like the Garden of Eden. Father, that they will know it was you in the mighty name of Jesus. For your name's sake, God, we thank you in Jesus' name. Thank God and amen. May the first I receive renew. And while we are renewed, there's some task, test that some will redo. Meanwhile, God will review and remove. Some are asking for a refreshing. Some is asking for a do over redo submission is required shaking is already taking place and watch as bonds begin to break watch as bonds begin 
to break. I even hear separate. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. We thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do in this hour. Hallelujah. Even congregates. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Separate and congregate. Congregate. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is doing it. He is doing it. Hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. God, we thank you. Separate and even congregate. God, we thank you for separating us from all the things that will cause us to go left. When you're causing us, calling us to go right. God, we thank you that you are separating the wheat from the tear that you are separating God those that are busy for you and those that are busy bodies those that are doing things for their own selves versus doing things to please you Father we thank you that you are that you are making a difference even now in the mighty name of Jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Separate and congregate. Hallelujah. Bring your congregation together as one God. Hallelujah. Draw us as you draw as as we draw nigh unto you. Continue to draw as we draw nigh unto you. Continue to draw. As we draw nigh unto you, continue to press us forward. Continue, Father, to close and press in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Thank you, Father, that we are more than conquerors through you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sweet surrender. In the mighty name of Jesus, open our hearts, God. Thank you, Lord God, for hope and new hope. In the mighty name of Jesus, for those that are losing hope, God, we thank you that where we are weak at, God, you are able to make us strong. Help us to continue to to depend on you, to lean on you, to focus in on you. Holy Spirit, thank you, Lord God, for discernment. God, we thank you for discernment even now. Thank you for direction, direction in the mighty name of Jesus. Direction, hallelujah, bring direction, hallelujah, salvation, bring forth your salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. I I said that it is. I even heard new works in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you for doing new works in the authority I say, in the mighty name of Jesus. Within us, oh God, greater. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Continue to open up our ears, God, that we'll be able to hear even more clear. Open up our eyes that we'll be able to see even more clearly, Lord God. Oh, renew our minds, God, that we'll be able to get that, receive understanding and wisdom. Hallelujah. In the radiation and direction in the mighty name of Jesus. Open up our hearts, God, that our hearts will be receptive, that we'll have that heart of flesh and not that stony heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, guide us and lead us into your truth in Jesus' name. And God will forever give you praise, honor, and glory for it in Jesus' name. Thank God and amen for your name's sake. 
In Jesus' name. Thank God and amen. Lord, we just thank you. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Until next time, God bless. God bless.